Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bros here with a video that I felt was necessary to make because of the fact that I've gotten so many messages and so many people coming uh, in and out of my stream asking me, Hey Bros, what do you think about the, the PvP changes coming to Shadowkeep? What do you think about the uh, 3v3 playlist or the solo playlist? That is what I'm being asked about the absolute most. So I figured, hey, why not just make a video, uh, you know, what my thoughts on the fact that they're changing comp to 3v3 survival uh, in case you guys didn't know they're changing comp to 3v3 survival and they are adding a solo playlist now i'm going to put up on the screen what luke smith actually typed out himself as far as the pvp changes go so the first thing they did is remove quick play and competitive notes from the director if you're looking for an experience like quick play we've added classic mix which is connection based like quick play today classic mix includes control clash and supremacy then they say competitive is replaced by 3v3 survival which now awards glory we've also added a survival solo queue playlist that awards glory we've added 6v6 control as its own playlist with the potential influx of new players this fall we want to have a playlist that signals to new players that this is where to start we feel like 6v6 control is the right starting place when introducing new friends to destiny we've added a weekly 6v6 rotator and a weekly 4v4 rotator those rotator playlists are where modes like class supremacy mayhem lockdown and countdown will appear we've removed some underperforming maps for matchmaking too now all of these changes in my opinion are amazing changes that the game desperately needs and has needed for a long time it seems like there will finally be a playlist for everybody that you can enjoy if you want to sweat you can go to you know to the 3v3 survival playlist or the 3v3 solo playlist if you want to sweat as a solo player you can go into the old 4v4 if you miss 4v4 the weekly rotator map or you can go to the weekly 6v6 there will also be you know the elimination and crucible labs that you'll be able to test out there's going to be so many playlists for us to enjoy ourselves in that i think this is a great thing also you know as a content creator sometimes you don't want to sweat you know, sometimes you want to just go in and use weapons like Cold Heart and get some clips. So they even have that playlist for us. So I'm personally really excited, uh, you know, to have a playlist with no skill based matchmaking. So they say where I don't have to worry about matching anybody who's going to try and teabag me and, you know, make a YouTube video out of me when I just want to relax and hang out with some of my friends that are not as good. Now, the biggest thing about this video and the most asked question, like I said, is about the solo playlist and comp switching from 4v4 to 3v3 now i don't know if my opinion is unpopular or popular but i'm not crazy about 3v3 i'm not like super excited like yeah it's going back to 3v3 you know i think 4v4 is dope i think it's great i just think they had shitty game modes like you know control and countdown they had shitty maps i mean i'm not saying you know everything but i'm saying there's there's maps and there's game modes that ruined it like with 3v3 survival it's going to be a lot of fun don't get me wrong but they've fine-tuned it you know they're taking out some of the maps which i'm going to read it to you guys later and you know you don't have to play 3v3 countdown and 3v3 control you, you get what i'm saying like who's to say that if 4v4 wasn't survival only it wouldn't have been amazing and if 4v4 was only the eight best maps it wouldn't have been amazing i think that it would have been i think it's not about it being 3v3 or 4v4. I think it's about fixing the matchmaking, fixing the map selection, fixing, you know, fixing the game mode selection. And, you know, I'm not sure whether I prefer 3v3 or 4v4. I'm honestly not sure. I honestly don't care. I honestly just want a fair game when I load in the comp, a good map, and a good game mode. I also would have liked to see 3v3 clash. Now, I don't know how many of you guys watch the top tier players on uh, PC compete in tournaments but they play 3v3 clash all the tournaments are clash you know i'm not saying take survival out but i would have liked to see a rotation of clash survival and elimination if i could have my you know cake and eat it too 3v3 is fine but i don't know if survival is going to get old and boring and worn out but i think if you would have rotated three different game modes the ones that would fit well which is i mean elimination we know how good that is in 3v3 from d1 and I think there's no question that Clash and Survival would be amazing 3v3 modes. Now, the solo playlist. People ask if I'm excited because of all the Soul Sensation stuff. And I am a little bit. 
but I gotta admit, I would much rather them fix the core comp experience, fix matchmaking at its core, so you don't have to solo queue to get a fair game. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I'm excited about it, but at the same time, I'd rather them have not made a solo list, fix comp as a whole. I go into solo comp, uh, you know, regular comp as a solo player, and I'm not getting a level four or a level ten or a you know a guy who has no clue what he is doing but if the solo playlist is their way of fixing that then i guess i'll be solo queuing because i would have much like to to go against three stacks they think they're good and get two players of my caliber on my team because that's you know where i'm queuing up at you know at, at high in high comp and not get teammates who just have i mean literally have no clue what's going on in the game because the matchmaking is so bad so next up you know, he talks a little bit more about matchmaking and talks about the new light players being separated from the players that have been playing the game for years, which I think is a good thing. Then he says, additionally, we've also taken a longer look at matchmaking and overhauled the skilled matchmaking system. In the game today, Quick Play is the only playlist that doesn't have some version of skill matching in the game. We are preserving that behavior. In parentheses, he puts connection matchmaking in the 66 classic mix playlist. Here's what gets really annoying about skill match. When it's overly restrictive, it's fatiguing when every single game feels like a sweat fest, which is something that I alluded to earlier. When it's overly loose, a player can get an entire evening of unlucky matchmaking RNG, where they're getting dumped on by squads of Terminators, shredding Kindergartians, a bad time for the Kindergartians. And I talked about this a little earlier in the video, but I think this is all good. You know, you pick the playlist that you want to play in. There's playlists for connection-based matchmaking, and there's playlists for skill-based matchmaking, and then, you know, there's comp and 4v4 and 6v6. There's just going to be so many options uh, for your mood, and I think that was the right play here. Now, a few things that I really, really, really hate about comp right now is the fact that when you are in high comp, when you hit 3,500 plus, you lose more than you win. So when you take an L in high comp, you lose 60 points and then when you get that next win you get 40 so essentially you have to win two games for every loss to just cover the loss and get a little bit more points i think that's very very unforgiving especially as a solo player and there's no other comp game i've ever played where that's a thing where you're so punished for losing so that and the fact that win traders are ruining high comp and the last thing that he said which i think addressed both those issues was We've refactored how players gain glory ranks with these skill match changes. We're factoring in your skill value to glory gains and losses so that number can more effectively represent skill. We've also made a number of quality of life changes to glory, valor, and infamy to make losses less punishing to your streaks. Once the above changes go live in October, we'll be watching, listening, and reading as you check them out. So, I'm not entirely sure what this means, but it says we're factoring in your skill value to glory gains and losses. Your skill value, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work or what it means, but I interpret it as the better you play, the less you lose in a loss, and the more you win, or the more you gain in a win. So, you know, if you drop 40 limbs and lose, you don't lose much, and if you drop 40 limbs and win, you get more points than somebody who may have dropped 10. Could totally be reading wrong into that. Uh, you know, if you guys know what that means, drop, let me know in the comment section. But I think that will help with getting rid of win traders because those guys cheat their way to 5,500 and then they have like, you know, no kills, no deaths. So their skills should be apps, you know, should be zero. So I should never match these guys, which would result in me matching better teammates and having more balanced games and more fun games. Thank you all so much for watching this video. These are my thoughts on all of the PvP stuff that I've read. And, you know, if you have any questions on stuff I didn't cover, just ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. I love you guys. Catch you all next time. Zone A captured. Ah, yes. The hunt is on.